It was a cold-blooded murder, so brutal and so senseless that it sent shockwaves throughout the city. Jamil Shaw, a high school football star who was never associated with any gangs, gunned down near his home. Police say the suspect they arrested and charged with the murder is a 19-year-old alleged gang member who, according to immigration officials, may have been in this country illegally. Today, Jamil's parents and 9-year-old brother Thomas stood before the L.A. City Council asking for something to be done to take violent gang members in this country illegally off the street. He asked me every day, Dad, I, I miss jazz, you know. He, he wants his brother. All he talks about every day is he wants to invent a time machine because he wants to go back. We, we want him back, but we can't get him back. And it hurts every day that we have to live like this. And we're hearing all these people complain, and we know everybody is, is heated about this. we got to do something. I mean, it's just not right. My son, while I was in Iraq, was murdered by a legal alien that is a gang member. And me, serving the country, serving the state, serving the, the United States, I think that's an awful shame. I'm over there sacrificing my life for, for a better United States, and it's not safe for my son. I don't, I don't see how it could be like this. I'm safer somewhat in Iraq then my son is safe on the streets of the United States. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Jamil's parents are calling their effort Jamil's Law, though they say a law may not be what is needed here. They're simply saying that they hope this could be a new beginning to make sure that authorities do whatever it takes to make sure that people who are in this country illegally and committing crimes are taken off the street.